Full Metal Alchemist 3, Kami o Sugu Shoujo, Gang no Lienjin Shushi 3 Shen wo Ji Gu Shao Nu, Hagain no Renkinjutsushi 3 Kami o Sugu Shoujo, Lit. Full Metal Alchemist 3, The Girl Who Succeeds God is the third Fullmetal Alchemist video game for the PlayStation 2 and a role-playing video game continuation of the series of Square Enix games. The first two games in the series are Fullmetal Alchemist and The Broken Angel and Fullmetal Alchemist 2, Curse of the Crimson Elixir. Topic. Characters. Edward Elric, Edoadu Auroraku Edoado Auroraku, the Full Metal Alchemist, his nickname is given because the term Full Metal is used to describe a person who is stubborn. In the series it is often mistakenly attributed by minor characters to Ed's automail arm and leg, or Al's armor body. He and Alphonse are the protagonists. Alphonse Elric, Arufonsu Aroraku Arufonsu Aroraku, Al is Edward's younger brother, though is often mistaken to be older than Ed because his soul is trapped in a suit of armor twice as large as he is. He is also a skilled alchemist. Winry Rock Bell, Uinri Rokuburu Winry Rokuburu, a childhood friend of the Elric brothers, Winry has traveled with the two to the city known as Valdora. The player can speak with her at the vacant church. Colonel Roy Mustang, Roy Masutangu Dazuo Roy Masutangu Tesa, the flame alchemist, who is known for his mastery of fire alchemy. He is Edward's immediate superior in the military and is quite the latest man. Riza Hokai, Riza Hokuai, Riza Hokuai, a first lieutenant in the military under Colonel Mustang's command. She has accompanied the group to Valdora. Alex Louis Armstrong, Erikusu Rui Amusodorangu Erikusu Rui Amusodorangu, the strong arm alchemist and a major in the military. He is part of Mustang's group who assisted in the Battle of Valdora. Sophie Bergman, Sophie Barukuman, Sophie Barukuman, a mysterious young girl with a strange transmutation circle like symbol resembling a flower embedded in her left hand. Edward and Alphonse attempt to save her when she is about to be attacked by Leonid at the beginning of the story, but Sophie ends up saving them instead when she emits a strange and powerful light that radiates throughout the metropolis. Like Alphonse, she has a fondness for stray cats. She is 14 years old. Victor Bergman, Vuikudo Ru Barukuman Vikutoru Barukuman, Sophie's father and an alchemist who was murdered by Zelgius. Sophie constantly thinks about her father. First Lieutenant Romeo Craigan, Romeo Craigan Zhang Wei Romeo Craigan Kui, he is an officer in the Valdora military. He is famous as for his excellence as a soldier and weapons he made. Lieutenant Colonel Venus Rosemaria, Vui Mesu Ro Zumaria Zhang Zuo Venusu Rosumaria Chusa, she is the captain of an independent Valdora military organization, an attractive woman who dresses very provocatively. She's often referred to as the Red Rose for her customized crimson attire. Second Lieutenant Izzy Trigger, e.g. Toriga Shao Wei e.g. Toriga Shoi, a member of the military, who wears glasses and an olive version of the state military's uniform. He is one of Rosemaria's subordinates. He goes insane after his friends are killed by flying beasts. Second Lieutenant Boris Hammer, Borisu Hanma Shao Wei Borisu Hanma Shoi, another member of the military, a distinctly fat and short man. He is also one of Rosemaria's subordinates. 
Verda the legendary witch, Yunshuo no mo nu vueruza den setsu no maho veruza, a mysterious woman with white hair and white clothing. Once a kind and benevolent being, she has suffered a great deal because the people around her abused her for her strange nature. She is the final boss in the game. The church that Winry and Sophie stay at appears to have a giant statue of Verda with her hands together as if she's praying. Zelgius of Purgatory, Lien Yu no Zerugiusu Rengoku no Zerugiusu, the fire priest and leader of the priests who control the city Sophie lives in. In the past, Zelgius worked together with Sophie's father on experiments which likely are the source behind Sophie's mysterious powers. He wears a fierce demonic mask and bears the symbol of a lion. Janus of the Hurricane, Jifung no Janisu Shipu no Janisu, a young woman with blonde hair and suggestive attire. She bears the symbol of an eagle on her upper left thigh. She is the wind priest of the group led by Zelgius. She has the ability to levitate in mid-air and fly. Leonid of Diamond Dust, Bingshe no Rioni do Hyojin no Ryanido, an effeminate young man, who is associated with shadows and a member of Zelgius's group. His symbol is a shark emerging from the water, which appears on his abdomen. He has the ability to create ice and is known as the Ice Priest. Godo of the Fisher, Delai no Godo Chiretsu no Godo, a masked brute bearing the symbol of a buffalo on his shoulder. He is a member of Zelgius's group known as the Earth Priest. He never speaks due to his intellectual disability and feral nature, merely grunts and moans. Führer King Bradley, Kingu Buradore da Zongtong Kingu Buradore Daisoto, the Führer of the Amestrian military, and a boss in the end of the game that the player does not have to defeat. Defeating him will only change the ending. Topic. Story Valdora, Vurudora Varudora, is a large city completely surrounded by snow-capped mountains. Edward, Alphonse, and Winry meet Sophie Bergman, a 14-year-old girl with silver hair and light blue eyes who has been cornered by Leonid, the guardian of ice. When Edward's attempt to save her from him fails, she uses a strange power causing a blinding golden light to light up the entire sky. Afterward, Leonid retreats, and Sophie passes out. The trio run to her aid. Soon after they've learned each other's names, Sophie takes Edward and Alphonse and presses her seal a transmutation circle shaped like a flower onto Edward's right hand, and Alphonse's shoulder, increasing their alchemic abilities. They sought out the guardians of ice, wind, earth, and fire to get closer to solving the mystery of Verda. During this time, they progress through an ancient castle, where on the balcony, Sophie experiences strange pulsations accompanied with voices that make her scream. A strange transmutation circle is inscribed in the ground right by a rock-like platform that has handcuffs hanging down from chains to suspend someone. Ahead, the balcony overlooks the mountains. Sophie and the Elric brothers are surprised by Romeo Cragen, who are then taken into custody by Venus Rosemaria and her subordinates Izzy Trigger and Boris Hammer. Edward yells for Sophie to escape. Alphonse is strapped to an electrical machine for testing, and Edward stripped and locked in a cold jail cell with nothing but his boxers to stay warm, but Edward finds a way out and they escape the military base together. Upon fighting and defeating three of the four guardians twice, the brothers discover that they lose their power, and wither away into dust. 
Sophie saves Leonid who has been lifted from his curse, but is only shot and killed by Romeo Cragen moments after the trio leave the area. The brothers' journey finally comes to a close after reaching the highest level in the Shrine of Verda, where they find Sophie who has been possessed by Verda because of the red rock that Zelgius placed in her chest, and break her out of the trance. They fight Verda as a disgustingly ugly and enormous monster with a skull for a face. Upon defeating Verda, she gets sucked into the ground but re-emerges again in a human form covered with blood and glowing eyes, creating a massive vortex of wind and red light in her rage. Sophie approaches her, and despite the fact that Verda attacks her twice, she still survives almost unharmed except for some bleeding on her forehead. Sophie then wraps her arms around the angry Verda, crying, and her words cause Verda to calm down, and she hugs her in return. Her eyes are shadowed out, but a tear falls and lands on Sophie's face where she begins to wither to dust. Her gentle eyes are revealed for a split second, and her last word being a thank you, before vanishing for good. Afterwards, all of the monsters that were summoned when Zelgius initially placed the red stone in Sophie's chest, vanished as well, leaving citizens and military soldiers alike thankful and relieved that the terror was finally over. Zelgius, who is standing on the balcony with Roy Mustang notices that everything's vanished, and after saying his final farewell, he sets himself on fire and disappears into the air. They return to the church to find Winry and Sophie's beautiful white cat, Norn, and decide to have a nice walk in town since they no longer had anything to worry about. On the way through the empty streets, Edward is pushed back from Sophie by Winry, who is talking with their friend, which causes him to fall behind the other three. In a shadowed alley, Trigger stands with a knife, his head covered with a blanket while he mutters to himself. He has gone insane from his friend's death by the flying monsters. The moment Edward reaches the alley, and his friends are far ahead, Trigger lunges out and stabs him in the chest, then walks away, causing Ed's death on impact. Alphonse, Sophie, and Winry turn around after hearing a thump from behind them and run to his side, crying in shock. Sophie then after seeing him lying there motionless, decides to use her power to bring him back to life. She places her hands over the wound in his chest and a light starts glowing. She meets Edward, who is strangely floating upside down, in a beautiful looking place with a sunset on one side and the daylight on the other and converses with him. Edward screams her name out before she vanishes, and realizes that he's alive again, reaching out for Sophie. When he turns, he sees Sophie sitting with a blank and vacant expression, and Winry sobbing uncontrollably by her side. He then suddenly realizes that something is wrong. Afterwards, Edward and Alphonse meet Fuhrer Bradley at the headquarters which turns into a fight, where winning or losing will not change the ending. Upon losing the battle, Edward is knocked unconscious by Major Alex Louis Armstrong where he and Mustang speak with the Fuhrer, who then enters the HQ and kills Romeo Cragen. Winry and the Elric brothers try to speak to Sophie who is vacantly staring out the window not even aware of their existence. They leave Valdora in grief and sorrow. Mustang and Hawkeye are treated for injuries at the hospital. At the very end, Norn continually meows trying to get Sophie to come back to reality, and just when hope seems lost, Sophie stresses out the words. Norn. And. Ed. With a smile. Should the player have given Sophie enough items during the game, a different ending takes place. 
Norn, as in the bad ending, will meow for Sophie, only this time Sophie comes to her senses. As Ed, Al, and Winry board the train home, Sophie runs to the station with Norn to try and say goodbye to them, only to see that their train has left. In spite of this, Sophie shouts out to the train, thanking them for everything, until it is seen that Ed, Al, and Winry never even got on the train. Upon seeing each other, the four friends embrace in happiness. Topic. Features This game features tag battle mode, unlocking characters such as Roy Mustang, Riza Hawkeye, and Alex Louis Armstrong. In this mode, players can play alone, or with a partner and defeat all of the opponents to gain a record. Gallery has about 96 unlockable images, and 10 movie clips, three of which are the opening, a music video of Nana Katade's song, Kanashimi no Kazoo, Bei Shimino Shang and a commercial for the game. To unlock them, the player must give items to Sophie when she is standing in the vacant church. To further experience, upon completing a game, save, and it will be listed as cleared one time. The tenth movie clip is only achievable upon defeating Fuhrer King Bradley. Unlike the previous two installations, Fullmetal Alchemist 3 features a two-player game. The player can switch between Edward and Alphonse and play either one of them at any point in the game. In tag battle mode, the same applies to all characters. As said before, giving items to Sophie will sometimes unlock pictures with small cutscene-like dialogue, as well as characters available for tag battle mode, along with the fact that she will sometimes give an item back in return. Topic. Reception The game sold 46,954 copies by the end of July 2005. Topic. See also. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist: The Movie, Conqueror of Shambhala. Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel. Full Metal Alchemist 2: Curse of the Crimson Elixir. Full Metal Alchemist: Dual Sympathy. Full Metal Alchemist: Dream Carnival. List of Full Metal Alchemist episodes. <laughs>